trying to beat Brazil. Well, Martin Keown's persistent style of defending earns him a place ahead of Gary Neville. It's a midfield of the three balls. It's Gascoigne and Scholes. Scholes, of course, who was such a hit against Italy. And the senior partnership up front of Shearer and Sherry and it. I'll have a look at this age, Martin. I wonder whether, having seen the way they attack this Brazil side, they can easily have gone in with Batty in that central midfield area to partner in. But that would have been a little bit negative, I think. I'm delighted he's given his goals and gas going a chance to shine at the other end of the pitch. There's no doubt if you're going to play well against Brazil, you've got to take the game to them. And that side there says it can take the game to them. Never will get forward, the soul will get forward. That'll be fascinating against Capu and Roberto Carlos. But really, they're going to do well. Q1 Southgate, Campbell of all, but they play well. Well, Brazil feel the side that finished off that glorious game against Italy. Flavio filling in for that midfield man with shoulders as wide as a wardrobe, Mauro Silva, who's suspended. No concession from Mario Zagallo to the fact that they played just 48 hours ago. He believes that caps for Brazil have to be earned and invariably sticks to his strongest available lineup. He certainly does, and that's another thing that delighted me. I wonder, would he rest a few? With that formation of the Mauro Silva not playing games. I didn't know if they want to help the two centre backs. The rest of them will take it from me. They'll just go forward and attack. What they'll produce? Well, who knows? Well, the check on the substitutes. England, of course, lacking the services of David Beckham. Bitterly disappointed with his suspension. And uh, you mentioned David Batty, Andy. He is named amongst the substitutes, but he is by no means fully fit with a groin problem. And Ian Wright damaged a toe in training. Brazil substitutes very much bit part players in this tournament so far. Well, the comparisons between the two great number nines, Alan Shearer and Ronaldo, but it is much, much more than that. So England in red, a new strip unveiled for the senior side for the first time they were supposed to wear it in Poland and then there was a, a change of policy from uh, the Poles that necessitated England going back to white. Some of Brazil's football has been sheer bliss, but Mario Zagallo won't have missed the point that in three games in Europe over the past 11 days, his team has conceded eight goals and they haven't won a match yet. Well, if you want to have it's not the best playing surface in truth, the Parc de France is used for other sports of course and there's a fair amount of wear and tear at this time of the year. So here's Martin Keogh. And they're talking about the surface, maybe David Seaman might just blame it for that missed kick. It's not a ground that he has happy memories of of course, it was here that Naive beat him from very long range in that Cup Winners Cup final couple of years ago. First run from Roberto Carlos. Ronaldo in the centre and Seaman wasn't anywhere near the cross. The ground is so fortunate for England was. Well, it wasn't anywhere near because it was a great cross to be fair. Opening minute he produces a cross like that. Well, Brazil looking to uh, pick up very quickly from where they left off in Lyon. Alba has made a late run towards the near post and very nearly got to it. Cross for Cafu. Leonardo taking the corner, beckoning Cafu forward with a pass. Still Cafu! And it who was there for Teddy Sheringham. Now we get a wee right out of the jail England there. That's a brilliant run from Cafu. Slip tense beautifully here, through the legs and he's away. Paul is trying to hold him back, but look at the strength and determination of Cafu. England can't get out of their own penalty area at the moment. Romario, Sheringham defending again. Shearer just happy to whack it forward. That will do is just to allow England to regroup. Dunga getting it from the goalkeeper, Tafarel. Just three England wins in 18 matches against Brazil. And uh, not one of those wins has come when there have been points at stake in groups in the World Cup Finals. There have been meetings in 58 and 62 and 1970. 
example, in many tour events like this one. This England squad is very fine fettle. Great celebrations when the game finally ended in Lyon on Sunday night in the draw that guaranteed the trophy for England. And a piece of history achieved by the Holmes team in France in the summer of 97. Huge throw from Roberto Carlos. But the chase by Leonardo was successful and it's produced the corner. He is a bit subdued here now, but what did he get, Mark? I thought he was a little bit subdued, but what he did against Italy, he did push him far from the forward in contact with Romario and Ronaldo. And the way he started the night suggested that's the kind of area he's going to operate in again. So another corner for England to try and deal with here. Roberto Carlos to take it. Players. 
I think it's hard to go and press this side because they're just so confident in their passing ability. By doing that, you just give yourself hope. The other hand is going to be more compact as a unit and not to get it as stretched as they did. Gascoigne. 
now sharing it. That's going to the good ball to cut back, but he's still going and in the end running out of space. That's it, we're going to go there, there, there. After that shaky opening five minutes, we dominated the last two or three. Intelligent passing, good movement. A little unlucky, Paul Gascoigne. Fast chased by Shearer and uh, not top two defending by Celio Silva. Well, that's the ball. I mean, there's no doubt you can get good possession if you just need it. Rather drill it down the line, Phil Neville. I think that fed in a weighted ball. And there's no doubt Alan Shearer will get across. And Italy showed us that he can get down the sides quite comfortably against them. Halfway through the first half, Phil Neville's long throw. Gascoigne trying to reach on the edge of the area, did so. Reach the side of the pass. Ronaldo. Mario fainted to come for the ball to feed, then darted behind our sound goal, but the ball didn't get to it. It's. Tunga was saying yesterday, Andy, that uh, Harrison Shearer against Ronaldo. Ronaldo has done it, and Shearer hasn't yeah. proved it yet. <laughs> <laughs> provocative remark if you first value. He also didn't see you on 86 
pretty sure that they're not getting around that, but in midfield. Gasper has gone to the left and no one with him. And uh, Shearer might be a bit annoyed he didn't get the ball, but still standing on that far side. Gascoy almost uh, deliberately going in the opposite direction to Phil Neville. Southgate. Not Shearer, but it's a long way from finding him. Scottish time at the end of the first half. And Martin Keogh was down for a while with that uh, sad shoulder injury that's taken off the pitch. Roberto Dance, Dunga. Now Jalminia. Leonardo. Players behind the ball. Sergio Silva. Beautifully picking out Roberto Carlos. Ball from Brazil in the centre. And Mario was the one closest to the cross. Wasted forward by Dunga. England making sure of having started the game rather tentatively and shakily. And finish the half with uh, much more control to their play. I think they want to be passed the ball just for their second half as well, Mark. They passed it brilliantly against Italy. They won't put you up to that standard when they've had the ball in the opening half. That's good. Pass Leonardo. This is to Shira this time. He will turn to Sheringham. Yeah, should have been going, should have been going the other way off, definitely. The score was certainly on way. Well, it's half time, and they can see the applause the fans who applaud the goalkeeper. It was a difficult.